right, what's the story? Which is uh, just a quick um, little video on a few different ways uh, to output multiple camera, uh, either JPEGs or uh, you know MPEGs, movie files or JPEGs, depending on whether you're using frames or not, uh, from different source cameras all at the same time. Uh, I found it hard to find a solution to this uh, clear cut solution online. So I had a bit of a fiddle around and I adapted a, a tutorial I found online. I can't remember the name of the guy, but I'll put, I'll put the name in the description. But essentially it's just a, a, an all-in-one way of, uh, so if you have like a setup here for 360 recording, for example, in EV at the moment, there is no equi-rectangular camera. So if you want to render a 360 degree in EV, you need to have a uh, rig like this set up. And it's basically just an empty, which is the cube shape here. Um, and then parented to that, there are six cameras, one pointing up, one pointing down, and four, in one in each direction. Um, I'll show you what the camera data is like. And then it's set to perspective. Uh, again, this is just specific to, for a 360 uh, multi-rig, I'll, I'll explain a, a, a normal shot uh, scenario in a sec. So for this is uh, perspective, 90 degrees here on the field of view, lens unit will be in millimeters by standard, so switch to field of view and put it on 90. Um, and then the rest I think is all stock standard stuff. All the cameras will have the same setup. Um, I Also, if, if they look like they're a bit small, if you're setting this up, you can go to a viewport display and change the size to two meters and that will leave them flush to the edge of the cube that they're parented to. So that's the camera setup for that, but that's kind of besides the point. Uh, the really important thing I need to show you here is in this tab here. Okay, so the first thing is um, you need to uh, you need to check stereoscopy, 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 um, and it will by a standard default it will be set to stereo 3D. Uh, you want to uh, click on multi view, and by default this left and right will be checked. You want to uncheck them. I don't think they can be removed, so I just uncheck them and leave them be. Um, then you need to make sure that uh, you create um, a one of these for each of your cameras. You can name them whatever you want, but the important thing is that this suffix down here, underscore top, matches the suffix on the corresponding camera name up here. Uh, and that's pretty much the guts of it. Uh, it you, at the bottom actually here, you have to make sure that uh, this views format is set to individual and um, that's pretty much it if you if you see there this one here says underscore BTM and the corresponding camera has the same suffix on it so it will pick those up and when you press render for let's say an animation that I have here um, I only have it set to render for two frames because I'm not, there's no point just to show you that it will pop them all out into s separate files all at once um, as long as all of this stuff is uh, is done as it's supposed to be um, it should come out like this and that's your uh, essentially the setup for any amount of cameras as long as you pop them in here with a little plus give them a name and make sure that the uh, suffix is matching now I did notice that it doesn't work if there's another camera in the scene that doesn't have a corresponding um, section over here so you need to make sure to either get rid of any surplus cameras or uh, or give them a corresponding suffix and then it will work no problem uh, so the second setup is just like a normal studio scenario so you've got you know Suzanne here um, and it's it's essentially the same setup it's exactly the same setup um, I've also noticed that regardless of them being in different scenes it doesn't like the cameras having the same suffixes. I would have thought they'd have kept them separate because all the other settings seem to stay separate, but so they're slightly different. I've changed them here, but they all correspond like that. Um, and there again. And for this one, to save you having to, um, uh, you know, s save each of the three images, if you are only rendering a still, like in this example here. I've noticed that if you set the start and end frame to the frame you want and then press Control F12 
to, to tell it to basically render an animation, it, it will it will save the images for you. Whereas if you just press F12, uh, I've found that you have to save them yourself afterwards. So that's that's the basic. Uh, those are the basic two things. I hope this wasn't too too long of a, a setup. Um, I'll show you what happens uh, when you press render on this. Uh, you, you'll get the same thing. You'll get the three different things with the correct um, suffix after it. Um, and I think that's it, yeah. So you need to check your stereoscopy. Uh, the camera underscores have to match between here and down here. You'll enter them yourself there and give them a name. Make sure this is in multi-view, not stereo 3D. Um, and also very important, views format is an individual down here, otherwise it'll chuck out a load of uh, wonky looking uh, stereo 3D stuff, which is awesome, but it's not what we're looking for here. Um, yeah, so that I think is pretty much that. I uh, hope this has been a help because it's, I've really like, I haven't seen anyone else explain it as clearly as that. I, I had to read the blender, the blender manual to kind of pick up on the, on the suffixes thing. Uh, so I just had a trick around with it. But like I say, um, hit the old subscribe dealio or, uh, give us a like or a share or whatever. Talk to you again.